Gaffer, one defeat in nine It came at Derby on Saturday. A little bit of perspective on the back of that sort of two days in? You know, obviously I've watched the game back twice um, yesterday without emotion. And look, there wasn't a great deal in the game. Um, the Derby were better than us on the day and they executed their game plan better and we hold our hands up to that. But I don't remember Traff having too many saves to make. Um, and I do believe what we underperformed on the day. So if we can concentrate on our own process and our own performance, and make sure we we get that right. I still believe there's there's a lot of success to be had this season. Um, you know, where you, when we have come in from where we've come from, and we're on the journey that we are on together, we're going to hit bumps in the road, and it's about how we react to those bumps in the road. Um, Saturday was a bump in the road, and we're frustrated, we're disappointed, but it doesn't mean it's the end of the journey or we're not going to reach our destination or end goal. It's OK, we've hit a bump. How do we learn from that? How do we move on? How do we improve? And that's what we're going to focus on this week and, and make sure we get a reaction tomorrow night. Yeah, at the moment, they're probably the best, strongest side in the division, no disrespect to Plymouth. Yeah. And as you say, the margin wasn't huge, given the fact that we weren't quite at our best. No, as I said, we, we lost out in the moments mm. and we, we you know, lost out on a couple of transitions. The first goal was from the throne, which is really disappointing from our point of view. And the second one again a transition and we just didn't manage it correctly enough um, I did actually feel like we were starting to build some momentum when that second goal went in well, the press was starting to fade a little bit um, the energy was starting to dwindle from them and we conceded a goal at a really poor time and that gave them the energy to see the game out um, but as I said that, that's gone now all we can do is learn from it we'll go through it and analyse debrief today and make sure we, we sift through the debris and understand what went wrong and why and then we'll move quickly on to tomorrow night and make sure we're focused on getting a positive result. As you say, you park that and move on, go straight back at it and, and a big game here on Tuesday night against Forest Green. And as you say, yeah. make sure you get the positive results and you're still right in the mix. Yeah, again, just, you know, as I said, we've hit a bump. Um, it doesn't mean to say we've written off the car. We're still travelling forwards. We're still in a good position and we've got a chance and opportunity to put Saturday right now tomorrow night and a good performance and a good win. I know you won't just turn up expecting to win, you've got to perform because down yeah. there they made it tricky. Again, it was a bit of a bump in the road that day, but you've got to perform week in, week out, haven't you? Because nothing comes easy. Yeah, exactly that. And, you know, this is a tough, unforgiving league and every game asks you a different question. Um, but again, we have to see tomorrow as an opportunity to right some wrongs from Saturday, make sure we get back to our, ourselves, our performance levels, hit the heights that we've hit of late. And if we can do that, I'm confident we can get the right result. Yeah, because again, at home, Pompey, the last home game being an example, you know, you're know, you playing really well. And, and I imagine sides probably uh, don't particularly like coming here. They know they're, they're going to be in for a, a real test. Ex exactly that. And I think, you know, again, going back to Saturday, um, it was great to be involved in what felt like a really big game again. And we came out on the wrong side of it, but it shows that the club is heading back in the right direction, where it's... You know, two teams, two informed teams, two good teams, mm -hmm. and we came out on the, the losing side. But for us, it's a learning curve, it's a process, it's a journey, and we'll we'll go again tomorrow night and make sure that we're we're fully focused and concentrated on the process, performance levels, and if we can hit the heights that we know we can get to, we're confident that we can get the right result. And our fans played a part in that Saturday, didn't they? I mean, it yeah. was the whole thirty thousand of a league, league one game is magnificent. We had three thousand there, as you say. It's a real taster, isn't it? Of what both clubs Look, are aspiring to get back to. Yeah, I mean, our fans were outstanding. Um, they always are. And, you know, we're, we're gutted that we couldn't get them a result on Saturday. Um, but we shouldn't lose heart. We shouldn't lose faith. Um, as I said, this is very much a journey. Um, we've hit a bit of a snag, a bump in the road. That's always going to happen. And it's about how we react to those bumps. Tomorrow night, we need a reaction. In terms of preparation, the weather has finally relented at Lost Stock. Is that going to yeah. help you? Get, you can train here today, is it? Yeah, I mean, it's gone from minus 10 to minus 9, so that's positive. <laughs> um, but no, it's, it's, it's better than it was last yeah. week, so we'll be able to get some work into the players today and get ready for tomorrow night. And you've got options in that squad, haven't you? You look around the squad yeah. and, you know, that's very healthy. You've brought two in already, three in the yeah. bottom, three in already. Nice to see Shola get a taste on Saturday. And you look at your bench and, you know, the squad still looks in a good place. Yeah, I mean, physically it was a... It was a tough game on Saturday and we'll have to look at how the players are today. We may need to freshen it up a little bit to give us some impetus and some energy.
And just lastly, I know we, we can't show our, our hand too much, but you are trying to get a, a front player in. You, you made no secret of that, but yeah. it's not an easy market and time ticks away. No, it's not an easy market. Um, it's a difficult market and everybody wants good centre forwards. So we're doing what we can. We, you know, we know what we need. We're working hard to make that happen.